Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. In today's video, I'm going to review Fundrise. Fundrise is essentially an online investment platform that allows you to invest in commercial real estate passively. So everyone knows that real estate is an important uh, part of a balanced investment portfolio. I actually own three rental properties with two partners. Um, I actually sold those properties a couple years ago for various reasons. So I kind of got that itch to invest $1,000 of my own money in Fundrise. So I think that I'll be your uh, guinea pig, so to speak, to see if you know investing with Fundrise is something that you'd be interested in. So I may consider doing like a quarterly or semi-annually video just to track how the investment is going and that way you guys can learn from my money if that makes sense. So in this video I'm going to explain what Fundrise works um, and what it is and I'm going to talk about some of the pros and cons. I'll take you through a tour of the platform. I'm going to share my screen just like I did in the last video that I made and I'm going to give it a Marco score at the end. So be sure to stay until the end. And if you are interested in investing in Fundrise, check out the link in the description below. Um, that is an affiliate link, so I will get compensated if you use that, but it's at no additional cost to you and it helps support the channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for those of you that don't know my background, I actually worked in commercial real estate on the development side. Uh, so I've been part of you know, $30 million multifamily projects from the ground up all the way to construction. Um, I leased out those buildings, I leased out office buildings, I leased out flex buildings, um, did a million different things over the course of a few years here. So the reason I say that is so you actually understand that I've, I understand this asset class and I'm not just blindly putting in $1,000 into Fundrise. And imagine that, a financial YouTuber that actually has a finance degree and worked in finance, mind blown, okay? So let's get into how Fundrise actually works. Um, so how does Fundrise work? Fundrise takes an actual real estate project, like the ones that I was describing, from all across the 50 United States and turns them into e-REITs. Um, so I know that can be kind of hard to understand what I'm saying, so let me write it on the board. E-REITs are basically electronic real estate investment trusts, okay? So if you're familiar with regular REITs, privately or publicly traded uh, REITs, this is basically the same thing. So it's kind of similar to like an ETF or a mutual fund, if you're familiar with that, except this is a basket of actual real estate projects from across the 50 states. So uh, Fundrise has actually claimed that their average annualized returns since 2014 have been 8.76% all the way to 12.42%, which is pretty crazy. Those are excellent returns if they can sustain them over time. And the cool thing is, is that the minimum investment is actually only $500, which will get you into their starter portfolio, or you can actually invest a thousand, which I did, and that'll upgrade you to their core portfolio. So within that core portfolio is where you can choose from three different plans. I'm gonna go over these plans in the live demo, but just so you have it in the back of your head, uh, the first one is supplemental income, which pays higher dividends. Uh, the second is balanced investing, which is what I invested in. And then the third is long-term growth. So smaller dividends, but higher appreciation on the back end. And again, I'll explain these later once we get into the demo at the end of the video. So as mentioned, once you're invested, you can expect quarterly dividend distributions and hopefully appreciation. That's why you're investing in this asset class in the first place. Um, so the appreciation in the asset value at the end of the assets investment term is typically going to be a long-term investment. So these are not just you know, liquid investments that you can get in and out of. You know, it's not like a stock. Um, where you know you can trade it you know pretty much the second you buy it um, this is actual tangible real estate so this may be a time horizon of three to five or longer years okay so the reason for the three to five years is because if you think about it when i worked in commercial real estate we would take undervalued buildings that have a higher and better use uh, we would buy it for x we'd fix it up we'd get the rents or the leases up which increases your NOI, net operating income, and then boom, you can sell the building for more than what it's worth. Um, that's a little bit more technical. I'm not, that's not the scope of this video either, but that's typically what uh, Fundrise is doing with these investments. So you may be asking yourself or asking me or shouting at your computer screen, <laughs> Marco, why not just invest in a publicly traded REIT? Well, the difference between a uh, publicly traded REIT and Fundrise is that you're investing directly into the real estate. So as opposed to where the REIT is, you're investing in the company, okay? So that's a big difference. 
um, REITs, yes, they can do you know shopping centers, senior living, you know restaurants, whatever. However, you see the exact property that you own, okay? So when you get, when I show you the demo, you're gonna see the number of different properties in the portfolio, and if you drive by that property, you can literally tell your friends, hey, I own part of that building, as opposed to the REIT, which is just investing in the corporation. So the cool thing is, is you don't have to be an accredited investor. An accredited investor is someone, let me just write this down so it's easier for you to see and understand. An accredited investor is someone who has $200,000 or more per year in annual income, and they have that annual income for the foreseeable future, or someone who has $1 million plus in net worth, not counting their primary residence, okay? The reason this exists is because it keeps people from preying on unsophisticated investors, which there's a lot of those people out there online, so be very careful. So with that being said, let's get into the pros and cons of Fundrise. So the first pro of Fundrise is that you have low minimum to get started, okay? So I'll put low dollars to get started. You can start with 500 bucks. So if you work a part-time job or if you work at you know, a fast food restaurant or something, you can still scrape up $500 to get started if you want. And again, the link is in the description below if you wanna sign up for Fundrise. Uh, the second is that the fees are relatively low, okay? So you have 0.15% uh, for basically like an annual advisory fee, and then you have 0.85%, so 85 basis points and 15 basis points. The 85 basis points is on annual management fees, so for a total of basically 1% per year. So it's gonna be a little bit higher than something like a, like a Vanguard ETF or mutual fund. However, you're diversifying into a real asset class that you wouldn't have access to before. So this is actually relatively low. You don't have to be the guy at the country club that knows the judge that's investing in the real estate project down the street. You can just be a person with 500 bucks and a laptop, okay? The third is that you don't need to be accredited, okay? So accreditation, you don't need that. That's not how you spell accredited, but that's okay. Um, the fourth is that it's well diversified. So instead of just um, investing in basically one building and it being kind of like a scary big investment, you're investing a little bit of money into many different projects, and I'll show you that in the demo as well. Um, basically, the fourth is that it truly is passive. So you're not managing the project, you're not leasing up the uh, multifamily buildings, you're not leasing up the retail space, you're not you know, dealing with like the leaky toilets and all that stuff, it really is passive. You receive a quarterly dividend and knock on wood, you will also see appreciation after years um, three to five. Um, and then finally, the sixth one is that it gives you access to a difficult asset class as I mentioned before. So all these are six really strong pros to consider Fundrise. So this sounds too good to be true, so let's talk about some of the cons. So there's only two cons, and the first one is that it's not liquid, okay? So I think they do have like a 60 or 90 day guarantee, which will actually refund your money maybe with a penalty, um, which is pretty crazy for an investing platform to be quite honest. However, real estate is not a liquid asset. It's not like a stock where you can just literally sell your 10 shares of Microsoft you know, in the next 10 seconds if you wanted to. Um, it's a little bit of an inefficient market because you're trading big, tangible um, assets. So you can't just turn around and sell an apartment building in the next 10 seconds like you could with stock. And then finally, the second, and this was kind of uh, surprising, but the tax implications of the dividends, they're not taxed at 15% like qualified dividends are. It's actually taxed at ordinary income. So if you do choose to receive dividends from Fundrise, they will be taxed at your ordinary income. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. If you still stuck around, thank you very much. Uh, let's jump into the demo and we'll give Fundrise a Marco score as well. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the second part of the Fundrise uh, review. Um, so I'm gonna go into Fundrise right now so you can actually see what the website looks like. Uh, and then I'm gonna click on investments here. You can see that I talked about the $500 minimum. That's pretty much their starter portfolio. But if you add $500 more, you can get into one of their core plans, which you can see here has supplemental income, balanced investing, and long-term growth. And then down here you can see dividends, appreciation, and total return. So the historical performance quotes were actually coming from this page here. You can see since 
2014, they've had some pretty healthy average annualized returns. Um, and if those do indeed to be the case, you know, this is going to be a good long term investment. So the only thing I can see about this is that, you know, the economy has been doing well for about 10 years now and Fundrise hasn't been around for a bear economy. Um, so we'll really have to test the waters here and see if, you know, these numbers are going to hold up. So I'm going to log in right now. And since there's a bunch of weirdos on the Internet, I'm going to, um, where is it? Here we go. Hide my screen and let me just log in here real quick. Okay, boom, here we go. So now I'm gonna to go to my uh, dashboard here and you can see that I've invested $1,000, okay? So this is still in the process of transferring so I don't really have any earnings or dividends or anything to show you here, but I do wanna show you what kind of investments you get into uh, using Fundrise. So if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the portfolio and you can see how these project types are weighted. So you have anywhere from A1 to E1, A1 obviously being the best. So it's a nice healthy little sprinkle and you can actually click on this tab here in projects and it'll show you pretty much everything you're invested in. So if I scroll down, I can show you to, uh, right here, it says view all of your projects and I can show you exactly what I'm invested in. So these are the different E-REITs that I was talking about. You have the growth, the income, e East Coast, Heartland, which I guess is like Midwest, West Coast and income for a total of $1,000. And you can see how, you know, the percentage of the portfolio is weighted, how much money you have in each E-REIT, and also the estimated uh, value in your position total. So this is where you can actually get to know the projects, which is pretty cool. So let's click on this one right here. Um, you can see here that this group, or whoever this investment group is, um, is investing in the Watson Apartments. So these are stabilized apartments in Grand Prairie, Texas, and the structure of this asset is debt. So we are providing the debt for this acquisition. Um, so the estimated return on this is going to be nine and a half percent. You know, who knows if that's going to pan out or not, but that's a pretty healthy return for just sitting on your butt and this being a passive investment. So this kind of tells you the market analysis. This is in the Sun Belt, which is kind of like the lower or southern third of the United States. Um, you know, who the, who the source is, the capital stack, et cetera, et cetera. Nice little timeline. So this does seem legit and this does provide confidence when looking at these different investments. Um, so I thought that'd be something pretty cool to show you. So with all this being said, let's go to uh, the Marco score and give Fundrise a score. So I, I inserted these ahead of time, but I will give you my reasoning for each number. Um, and I will share this uh, Google link here with everyone so you can actually share it. Um, and that way um, you can actually view this in live. Okay, so uh, you can click on these links here to actually go to any of the things that I'm reviewing. So Fundrise uh, obviously has to do with real estate. Uh, the commissions and fees at 1%, if you remember that 15 basis point, points plus the 85 basis points equaling 1% per year. Um, you can get into ETFs and you know Vanguard funds and stuff like that for much cheaper. However, this is actual tangible real estate and I think they're providing a pretty cool service for relatively low fees. So I gave this an eight. Uh, customer service, I have not had to deal with them personally, but they've been very vocal about you know reaching out to their investments at fundrise.com and talking to any of the people that work for them and it looks like they have three or four full-time people on staff dealing with just those questions and also everything I've read online leads me to, to believe that the customer service is legit. Uh, the ease of use is a nine and a half. It can't get any easier than literally transferring funds and being invested in commercial real estate so I gave that a 9.5. Uh, the tools and resources are seven and a half. The only reason I gave it a seven and a half is because there aren't really any tools. Uh, the resources are cool that it shows you where the project is, the timeline, what the capital stack is, all that good stuff. So it's very transparent. Uh, except that, you know, there are really no tools. You know, what are you going to do? You're just going to stare at what you're invested in. So I gave that a seven and a half to try and be fair. Uh, the investment options, I gave it an eight. Even though it is well diversified, it is one asset class. It is typically, you know, commercial real estate. Um, although there are some, you know, multifamily uses, there are some retail uses. It is decently diversified, but again, it all falls under commercial real estate. Uh, so I decided to give that an eight. Uh, asset allocation, uh, it looks like they're investing in, you know, good parts of the country. They're not in overpriced areas. Um, they're in up and coming areas and it looks like a lot of the projects do have some value add upside to them. So I gave the asset allocation an eight for a total Marco score of 50. Okay. 
So I hope you guys got value out of this video. Um, these videos take a long time to do. I don't ask for anything in return, but if you do consider investing with Fundrise or anything else that I do recommend, Fundrise being one of them, uh, please use the link in the description below. I would greatly appreciate it. So at the end of the day, you guys, I hope you got value. Uh, if you're interested in sharing this uh, video with a friend, please do so. And as always, have a prosperous day.